Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Ash with Winging It with Ash. Super happy you are all here. Today I want to talk about my first experience here in Wales at a rugby game. I have never been to a rugby game before. Match? Game? <laughs> but luckily while I've been here, I got the opportunity to go to one of the games. Okay, let's get started about my impressions of rugby here in the UK, in Wales. Uh, first off, we have this term in the US called pre-gaming and the term means like going and drinking before, I guess you like you go out or before you go to a party. Um, in my life, I don't think that I've ever pre-gamed. <laughs> but I think that here in Wales, they totally know how to pre-game. Uh, the game that I went to, I was so surprised at how many people were out and about and enjoying Cardiff City and drink before the game. In the US, when I go to games like baseball or a football game, it is kind of the same atmosphere. Like it's just a buzz in the air. Everyone's excited, looking forward to the game, not knowing who will win, like then getting drinks ahead of time, hanging out with your friends. Like I don't imagine, like it's not that different to the US, but I did really, really love being in Cardiff um, and enjoying all the people that were around me because um, I have literally never seen the city that busy, that excited, everybody wearing jerseys, people wearing costumes. Like it, was, it was a sight to see for sure. The first thing I learned when I was going to the game was that you have to go in the entrance that your ticket says. In the US, when I go to baseball games, I can go into any entrance I want and then find my seat from inside the stadium. That was definitely not the case here. I had to go directly to the entrance that my ticket said and then find my seat from there. In my opinion, one of the most emotional parts of any sporting event is the national anthem. I absolutely loved to experience the national anthem here in Wales with the whole stadium joining in. I had no idea what they're saying. It's obviously in Welsh. It was really amazing to have that first experience of walking into the stadium and then having everyone all join in on song together um, to start the game. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of going to any sporting event. The exciting bit is when the game begins. Rugby is like so fast paced. The ball is going back and forth and back and forth. People are getting so excited thinking that they're going to score. So they stand up and the, once the person stands in front of you, you can't see it and you don't want to miss it. So you stand up. I was laughing so hard because I was, I was sitting, standing, sitting, standing, like more than being in church and singing hymns, you're sitting and standing at a rugby game. It was so fun. My analogy I feel like that I came up with while I was at the game was that I feel like the rugby ball is this egg and everybody's so gentle with it in a way <laughs> where they all huddle around it. They push it back really gently and they like <laughs> pass it around. Oh, the, nobody probably could relate to that, but that's what I feel like when I don't know necessarily what's happening. I can pick up on a little bit of things. I'm kind of sporty sporty enough to understand, but it was really exciting. Another part that I loved are the chants that happen at games. It's different everywhere you go, and I love hearing the different chants in different countries. Here in Wales, they have a lot of songs that people break out into song with, which is really enjoyable, and I really liked that. But also, the guys around me, they tried to start the wave like five times, and nobody caught on to it. There's another chant that goes kind of like, I, they said, Augie, 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 
oi, 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 like that kind of thing. And the only place I've ever heard that before is Australia, where they say Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. I have no idea here what Augie, Augie, Augie means. So if you guys could tell me, and did you steal it from the Australians? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. My last but most favorite chant at games here is when people say, Wales, Wales. Like it is so cool in a stadium and people just yelling, Wales. Something I will never forget. Something else that I absolutely loved was people's willingness to dress in red or wear the rugby shirts or in other cases some people wore costumes. Other people really embraced it <laughs> by wearing their daffodil hats <laughs> in the stadium. You can find these all around the stadium and looking around I loved seeing the bright yellow of the daffodils. You wouldn't think it like a really like manly, sporty, rugby thing that men would wear these or people would. Then some people might find them really cheesy or like over the top, but I didn't wear it to the game, but <laughs> I do find it really, really cute. <laughs> Something I did find while at the game was that I felt like it was really, really short. Some people would go up and stand in line for snacks, but I felt like I didn't even have time to do that. I didn't even want to do that because I didn't want to miss anything. The game moves so quickly. Things happen all the time and you could easily miss it. If, I feel like, like if you go and get snacks and you watch it on television, you might as well be at home watching it on the television instead of being right there in front of the players watching them do the things. I don't know. Am I the only one? I feel like American sports are much longer. There is a much longer period of time or even a much longer half time where you're able to go and get snacks, stand in line to get a beer, um, get some popcorn, a hot dog. But here I felt like I didn't want to waste any time waiting in line. So I didn't end up getting any snacks. And I feel like that is part of or like one of the parts that I really enjoy about going to sporting events and I had to miss out on it because I didn't want to miss any of the game because it's only like 80 minutes long. So yeah, it's a give and take. How do you guys feel? If you go to a game, would you be willing to stand in line waiting for snacks? And lastly, the stadium is massive. There are a lot of people and when a game is over, all those people have to leave. <laughs> I feel like when you arrive to a game, everybody trickles in. But when you leave, it's like a, mo like a mosh pit to try to get out. I left a little bit early and I'm so thankful I did because when taking public transportation, it is madness. They do everything they can to try to avoid the craziness, but it is just inevitable because the city has such an influx of people when there are games in the city center. Needless to say, I absolutely enjoyed myself every single moment from pre-gaming to the game itself to trying to rush out before I got squashed in the mosh pit. I truly enjoyed my experience here in Wales. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions of more things I should do here in Wales, here in the UK, put them down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.